The first match of the highly controversial 2022 World Cup takes place at the Al Bait Stadium on Sunday afternoon, as hosts Qatar Lockhorns with Ecuador in Group A Felix Sanchez Bass's men are competing on the biggest international stage for the first time in their history, while the South American nation make their return to the World Cup finals after an eight-year absence. Barely a week on from Sepp Blatter admitting that Qatar should not have been awarded the World Cup in the first place, the 2022 hosts hold the distinct honour of kicking off the latest instalment of the tournament, as domestic leagues take a break in order for the globe's finest to congregate in the Middle East. Controversy has reared its ugly head ever since Qatar were awarded the hosting rights for the 2022 World Cup back in 2010. But on the field, Sanchez Bass and his crop of soon-to-be history makers have simply tried to give themselves the best possible chance of making it out of Group A, facing Africa Cup of Nations champions Senegal and 2010 World Cup finalists Netherlands is truly a baptism of fire for the world's 50th ranked nation, but they have taken part in four warm-up friendlies since October and have won all four of them. Guatemala, Honduras, Panama and most recently Albania have fallen to Qatar's superiority in recent weeks with star striker Almos Ali netting the only goal against the latter, and the Maroon are now aiming to become the first World Cup debutants to win their opening match since Senegal beat then-defending champions France in 2002. On the other hand, Sanchez Bass's side are aiming to avoid being just the second World Cup hosts to fail to make it out of the group. Such a fate befell South Africa in 2010, but victory here would also see Qatar make history as the only AFC nation to win their first-ever World Cup showdown. Qatar were not the only nation to become embroiled in controversy before the first ball has been kicked at the World Cup, as Ecuador were reportedly facing the threat of expulsion from the tournament after fielding an ineligible player in qualifying. Nothing came of that, though, and the South American nation now prepare to make their return to the game's showpiece event after missing out on a place at Russia 2018, but making waves at the World Cup has not been their forte so far. Ecuador have already appeared at three editions of the competition in 2002, 2006 and 2014, but only once have they progressed beyond the group stages, being eliminated in the last 16-16 years ago, which also represents the sole time that they have won their first match of the tournament. Clean sheets have been the theme for Gustavo Alfaro's men in their warm-up period too, as Ecuador have remarkably recorded six shutouts from six games since the start of June, but they have only found the back of the net twice themselves, with four of those six matches ending nil-nil. Ecuador and Iraq played out the tricolor's latest goal as stalemate last Saturday, and Qatar have already faced their South American counterparts three times on home soil, recording one win, one draw and one defeat versus the side who will be intent on spoiling the party atmosphere. Qatar's medical team have already been at work in the build-up to this match, as attacker Ahmed Alalden came off in the 26th minute against Albania last week with an unspecified injury, but he was always expected to drop out here. Indeed, Ali, the joint leading scorer for his country with 42 goals, ought to be partnered in a two-man strike force by Akram Afif, and the duo will spearhead the charge for an otherwise defensive-minded Qatar side here. A five-man backline ought to be marshalled by 130-cap international Abdulkarim Hassan, while captain Hassan al Haidos will eye his 170th cap behind the strikers as he hopes to take Ali Assad's spot. Similarly, Ecuador also suffered a first-half injury in their final warm-up game as Byron Castillo came off before the break, but the 24-year-old was in fact the player caught up in the ineligibility storm and has been left out of the Tricolor's 26-man squad. As a result, Either Angelo Preciado or Robert Arvaleda ought to fill the right back slot for the South Americans, despite the latter only just coming back from an ankle fracture, while none of Moses Caicedo, Carlos Gruazo or Jeremy Sarmiento were involved against Iraq either, but the trio simply arrived after that game had taken place. Sarmiento will need a once-over on a minor muscular problem, though, while Gruazo has been training normally after overcoming a thigh issue, and the line will be led by all-time leading scorer Enna Valencia. Qatar manager Felix Sanchez Bass should be working with his full 26-man squad for Sunday's World Cup 2022 opener with Ecuador at the Al Bait Stadium in Group A. The Maroon suffered a brief scare when attacker Ahmed Alalden came off injured in their final warm-up friendly with Albania last week, but he is expected to be fine for this one. However, Alalden will likely cede his place up front either way, with Akram Afif expected to come back in and form a two-man attacking line with Almos Ali, who will become his nation's highest scorer of all time if he nets his 43rd international goal here. Just behind the duo should be captain Hassan al Haidos and his record 169 caps, which he has achieved at the age of 31 as he aims to replace Ali Assad in the number 10 role. Abdulaziz Hatem and Karim Boudiaf, 
another two players with over 100 international appearances to their name, should create the base of the midfield, as Pedro Miguel and Homer Ahmed act as the wingbacks. A trio of centre-backs in Basim al Rawi, Tarek Salman and Abdulkaram Hassan will expect to protect undisputed number one Saad al Shib as Qatar aim to become the first ever AFC nation to win their inaugural World Cup game. We say Qatar 1, Ecuador 2, Qatar certainly boasts plenty of players who know how to make the net ripple on the international stage, and the first ever World Cup game with the rapturous home crowd behind them will be of major benefit to the Maroon. However, a staunch rearguard has characterized this Ecuador side in recent months, and while that streak may come to an end here, the tricolour star names can propel them to an opening day victory.